It's to Hartman. Hartman sends this one on a rope out over the wall. Lift off for Jensen Hartman. Payoff pitch. Strike three called. The old one and Metacosh the other way deep to the gap and gone. As Rick Nauer sends it out deep, Metacosh gives the charge and it's gone. Charge up the side, the wind in the 0-2. Strike three. And this one's chopped up the line. Going to be a tough play for Long. Runner comes home to score and the throw is not in time. Sends this one in the air, right side, back, and that one bounces, and it gets to the wall. DeMoss off to the races, Fesco will score. There comes Michelia. It's a two-run double for Joey DeMoss. A beautiful Saturday afternoon from Ringwood as we get set for section action here on MVI Live. Alex Lyons with you this afternoon as the Belvern and Leopards look to get back in the wind column as they get back on the field for the first time in 10 days since we last saw them lose in walk-off fashion to the Yacht Cougars on top of Cougar Mountain in a closely attested affair. Ringwood on the season, three wins coming into play Two more than they had a season ago, or one more, I should say. Three and seven overall, one and five inside the section. Bell Vernon, three and three, two and two overall. As this is a preview of next Friday, senior night matchup for Bell Vernon. They will host Ringgold under the lights at Dee Virgilio. As looking at the starting lineup first for the visiting Bell Vernon Leopards here this afternoon on MVI Live. As leading off will be the junior left fielder, Alexa Daniels. Followed by Abby Fabin, the senior right fielder. Marin Metakosh bats third. She's out in center. In the cleanup spot, it's Ashley Joel. Batting fifth, the junior second baseman, Olivia Kolowitz. Ava Zubovic bats next. She will be out at third base. Mia Zubovic in the seventh spot. The freshman DP, Gracie Sokol in the eighth spot. She's at first. And batting ninth, the freshman catcher, Lauren Van Divner. Talia Ross will be in the circle for Bell Vernon here this afternoon as Cassie Kunkel will get the start for Ringgold. Last time we saw the Ringgold Rams, it was Kunkel getting the start as well as they lost to South Allegheny. Kunkel held her own through the first few innings before the bats of South Allegheny finally started to get going in that one. As it's been tough to get games in, not necessarily now with rain, but field conditions. As it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon as this game was supposed to Take place multiple times, been postponed multiple times, and finally a play date has been set here on Saturday afternoon as we get set for first pitch between the host Ringgold Rams and the visiting Bell Vernon Leopards. The Ringgold baseball team also in action here this morning as they are taking or playing at PNC Park here. It was a 10 a.m. start for them so if we get any score updates of course pass that on to you but games are plenty this weekend today obviously Ringgold Bell Vernon we're here for that one then we also have California taking on best center that's a noon start Bell Vernon Laurel Highlands baseball noon at D Virgilio and also a one o'clock start between Bentworth and Frazier softball this afternoon so baseball and softball are plenty of Saturday also a California softball game tomorrow on Sunday so trying to get the games in any way possible which has been anything but easy here this year as weather has definitely won the spring sports season thus far again Cassie Kunkel will be the starter today Danny Vecchio is the true number one for this Ringgold team she is at first base for the Rams here this afternoon she is also the Rams best First baseman, so that will add some defense out there. Peyton LaFlash, normal shortstop, will range the outfield today for the Ringgold Rams as they take on these Bell Vernon Leopards. First time in 10 days that Bell Vernon has seen the field. Ringgold last played on the 19th when they lost 5 nothing to West Mifflin, so they've only played one game since last Friday as Lexi Daniels digs in to get us underway here 
from Ringgold as Cassie Kunkel up on the circle. First we'll get the home plate dusted off and then we will get underway here from Ringgold. Daniels the junior. Digs in as the righty up against Cassie Kunkel. First pitch low, there's ball one to Daniels. First pitch 11.05 here on MVI Live. one 0 make it 0-2, or 2-0, and excuse me, on the right-handed hitting Daniels. Kunkel getting the start again. Change of pace, though, for Ringle, not throwing Danny Vecchio. As that one in there, 2-1 and one now, the count to the junior left fielder. Last two games between these two teams have went to the Belvern and Leopards by final scores of 6-5 and 7-4. It's 3-1 and one now on the junior left fielder. Last time Ringgold won against the Belvern and Leopards was at Belvern in a 5-3 victory for Ringgold and splitting back in 2018. As it's a five pitch leadoff free pass to Daniels to start us here this afternoon. So one on and nobody out now for Abby Fabin, the senior right fielder. Carly Russell back behind the plate. Cassie Kunkel pitching. Nolf Robertson and Vecchio on the right side of the infield as Olivia's at second. Danny at first. Peterson Lafash as this one's bunted right back to Kunkel on to first in time as it's going to be a one, two, four put out of Abby Fabin. As on to second is Alexa Daniels. Now for Marin Metakosh, the best hitter in the WPIAL in softball. And as I was saying, the rest of the outfield include is Peterson, LaFlash, and Bianchi. First pitch, Metakosh fouls it off the other way for strike one. Last outing for Marin Metakosh, four extra base hits, three doubles and a home run in the loss to Yock. The last double was oh so close to leaving the yard. The 0-1 inside, 1-1 one and one now to the junior center fielder. Kunkel on the circle, rocks and deals the 1-1, one, one, skitters to the backstop, and there's a free 60 feet for Alexa Daniels. So a runner at third now with just one away for Marin Metakosh as the Belvern and Leopards on the verge of striking early on here in inning number one. Metakosh grounds that one up the middle, and that gets through. Another hit for Metakosh. Daniels comes in standing. It's a one-out RBI single for Marin Metakosh, and the Leopards strike first. It's 1-0 here in the top of inning number one, and now the senior Ashley Jewell will step up with Metakosh at first. First pitch to the senior, Joel up high, ball one, snap throw back to first, Metakosh in safely. Runner at first, one away, one nothing, Bell Vernon leads. As Joel waits the pitch from Cassie Kunkel as that one bounces off the plate, another ball. Kunkel getting the start today, trying to change things up. The changeup of Cassie Kunkel more like the, or the fastball, excuse me, of Cassie Kunkel, more like the changeup of Danny Vecchio. So definitely a change of speed as this one's lined out to the gap in left center. And there goes Metakosh on the run. She will round third, comes around. Throw goes into third and on to second is Joel. An RBI double for Ashley Joel. Brings home Marin Metakosh and it's two nothing Bell Vernon here in the first. As it may have been a 10 day break but the bats have not gone cold for Bell Vernon. Two early runs and a runner at second with just one away. Olivia Kolowitz, the junior second baseman, takes low ball one, snap throw back to second, bounces to Olivia Vecchio and is in safely there. Is Ashley Joel, the senior shortstop. Come on, come on, 
And the pitch to Kolowitz. This one fouled off down the third baseline. One and one to the junior second baseman for Bell Vernon. Runner at second, just one away. Two nothing. The Leopards lead here over Ringwood. Pitch, pitch by Kunkel, swing and a miss. One and two, the count to Olivia Kolowitz. One on, one out, two in. The pitch home as this one's lofted. Shallow center, that drops down. Jewel had a weight on it, now goes to third. Throw gets away, but Jewel will stay put, and Kolowitz will advance on the throw to second, so runners at second and third. Now with one down for the sophomore third baseman, Ava Zubovic. Second and third, one away for the sophomore third baseman, Zubovic. Pitch by Kunkel. That one fought off the other way, and that one is a fair ball down the line as Joel comes in to score. Kolowitz follows, throw up the line, and it's a two-run, one-out single for Ava Zubovic, and Bell Vernon up by four here in the first. As both Joel and Kolowitz come around the score, runs three and four, so still just one away. First pitch fouled off now by the DP, Mia Zubovic, as the freshman behind on the count, no balls and one strike to Kunkel. As that one's lined, and that one eats up Robertson, gets to the gap and rounding second, digging for third, and in safely is Ava Zubovic. As Mia rolls into second on the throw, another single for the Leopards, and they have runners in scoring position with just one away for Gracie Sokol, the eight-hole hitter. As now head coach Greg Adams coming out to have a word with his pitcher, and I think that's going to be a changing of the guard here in inning number one. We are going to see Danny Vecchio come into the circle for the Ringgold Rams. She's been the number one all year, but Kunkel will just go one-third of an inning here this afternoon. And we'll see if she does stay in the game for the Ringgold Rams. Right now is responsible for the two on base, so... At worst, we see Kunkel I'm say at worst, we see Kunkel end with six runs in a third of an inning as Danny Vecchio starts to loosen. Vecchio has been excellent in the circle this year, but the issue with Danny Vecchio is she's also their best first baseman, so either pitching or Playing first base, there is becomes a weak spot for the Rams defensively, depending on Vecchio's spot in the lineup as tried to go with Kunkel, but Bell Vernon's bats were ready for the off speed of Cassie Kunkel and put an early four on the board here. Still two on, just one away, and it's going to be the sophomore, Gracie Sokol, be the first one to greet Danny Vecchio as Vecchio moves to the circle. On the first will be Elk. Two on, just one away. Four nothing, Bell Vernon leads here in the top of the first. Pitch by Danny Vecchio, fouled off the backstop. Strike one to Gracie Sokol. Lauren Van Divner, the freshman on deck. Bell Vernon, two in scoring position with just one out, four runs in against Ringel. Pitch by Vecchio, swing and a miss, 0-2. As Danny Vecchio looking to come in and get a huge strikeout of Gracie Sokol. Vecchio, if she can keep this at a four-run game going to the bottom of the first, that would be a huge win, and that's a big start as Vecchio strikes out Sokol on three pitches. So one up, one down against Vecchio. And that will bring the nine hole hitter, Lauren Van Divner, as the freshman catcher digs in. 
Two on, and this one fouled over the Rams, dug out for strike one. As Ava Zubovic at third, Mia at second. Van Divner at the plate with two out, two on, four nothing, Bell Vernon leads. The pitch by Danny Vecchio. That one misses, make it one and one to the right-handed hitting catcher. The 1-1 one, one by Vecchio, fouled off by the catcher, Van Divner. Two strikes now the, on the freshman. Vecchio looking for a huge second K of the inning and get herself out of this jam. The one, 1-2, this one a little blooper to third and drops foul. Nolf couldn't track it down as the Zuboviks will have to go back to second and third respectively. Count stays 1-2 and two on the freshman, Van Divner. See if Vecchio comes with the rise here, decides to pull the strings on the freshman. The one, two again by Vecchio. This one's lined out, and that one gets over the head of the left fielder, Peterson. Ava and Mia both in to score, is in to second with a two out, two run double. Is Lauren Van Divner as they'll turn the order back around. As we will see a courtesy runner here for Bell Vernon up 6-0 in inning number one. As a Danny Vecchio was just one out and one strike away from getting out of this jam, leaving it at four, coming in replacement of Kunkel, but that was unable to happen. Want to know the count now to Alexa Daniels. Drew the free pass earlier this inning. Came around to score the game's opening run. This one popped up. Shallow left, ranging towards center. And making the grab on it is Peterson for the final out of the inning on the F7. But not before six Leopards come across to score. They do it on one, two, three, four, five, six hits. There was no errors in the inning. And Bell Vernon strands one batter. And after one half inning here on MVI Live, your score the Bell Vernon Leopards six, the Ringgold Rams coming to bat. As we'll see if they can break in against Talia Ross in the Bell Vernon defense and try to inch ever closer. Life is full of surprises. Some good, some not so good. It's why your State Farm agent is there with good neighbor service and surprisingly great rates for everyone. Yep, that's right, at State Farm you get great service and great rates with every policy so you can be prepared for all life's surprises. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. When you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Brian Warnick in Periopolis today at 412-668-0111. Back here on MVI Live, we will get the camera back when we can. I don't know why it decided to disconnect here, but your score after one half inning, Bell Vernon up by a score of six to nothing as Ringgold. We'll look to get back on the board. Carly Russell, Peyton LaFlash, and Amy Peterson, one, two, three in the order. Danny Vecchio, Emma Nolf and Haley Robertson follow Olivia Vecchio, Ali Bianchi, and Devin Elk. The rest of the nine for the Bell Vernon, or excuse me, the Ringgold Rams here this afternoon. As Carly Russell digs in. The catcher against the lefty, Talia Ross. First pitch swing and a miss, strike one. Carly Russell awaiting the pitch. The pitch home, rises up high. Pitch by Ross. In there for a strike to Carly Russell. As Ross digs in against the right-hander, pitch home. 
Swing and a miss by Carly Russell, and she's the first strikeout victim of the afternoon. No one on, one away now for Peyton LaFlash. As Ross getting a feel for the ball. Rocks and deals home. LaFlash bends out of the way of that one as that one came inside. But no harm, no fouls. LaFlash, the senior, will dig back in. Pitch to Peyton LaFlash. That one misses now 2-0. and oh. Ross toes the rubber. Swing and a miss as the flash comes up empty. Two balls, one strike, one out, nobody on. Six nothing, Bell Vernon leads here, home half of inning number one. As that one misses out her third. Three and one now to the senior center fielder, Peyton LaFlash. As that one misses and Peyton LaFlash will be the first Rams base runner here this afternoon, drawing the free pass off Talia Ross. As swing and a miss is coming up empty on that one was Amy Peterson. As pitch in there for a strike, LaFlash runs down, takes second. As Peyton LaFlash now up in scoring position, just one away here for Amy Peterson. Oh and two, the count now to the senior. As Peterson trying to bring LaFlash home. Ross, rocks and fires home, and that one's fouled off the backstop. Ross gets the sign. Two strike offering as that one misses to Peterson. Ross delivers. This one set in the air, a little blooper as that one gets over the head of Kolowitz. And on the third goes the flash. It's a one out single by Amy Peterson and now runners at the corners with one away for Danny Vecchio. Pitch by Ross, swing and a miss, strike one as on the drop strike, headed down to second is Amy Peterson. So runners at second and third now with the one away for Danny Vecchio. The pitch by Ross, this one set in the air, a little blooper into the circle and putting the squeeze on that one is Ross for out number two. Two on, two out for 
Emma Nolf has the third baseman trying to pick up a pair here. Ross drops the softball. We'll have to pick it back up. Swing and a miss by Nolf. Runners at second and third. LaFlash at third. Peterson at second. Danny Vecchio popped up with two in scoring position. Now Nolf looking for a big two out knock as she'll swing through it. First strike two as Van Divner will look LaFlash back down to the third base back. Uh, swing and a miss, and Nolf is retired and will leave things right there as Ringgold, no runs. Up, 6-0 on the Rams. Are you looking for stress-free car shopping at its finest? Well, then Davies Ford of Charleroi is the place for you. Located 728 McKean Avenue, Davies Ford has something for everybody with a wide selection of models from Ford. So come let us get you in that new car today at Davies Ford of Charleroi. To get the Ford you want only with the greatest of ease. Pull on down to Davies. As, and we'll, we'll figure this camera thing out by the end of the afternoon, but right now, top of inning number two, six nothing, Bell Vernon leads. As Fabian up, first time by for Abby Fabian. Sent it back to the pitcher, that was Kunkel at the time. The pitch by Vecchio, fouled off the backstop to Fabian. Two balls, two strikes, nobody on, nobody out here in inning number two. Uh, swing and a miss as Fabian sh strikes out for out number one. Danny Vecchio's second punch out of the afternoon as that will bring up Marin Metakosh to the plate. Pitch by Vecchio to Metakosh, misses. First time by, an RBI single for Metakosh came around to score the game's second run. Six nothing, Bell Vernon leads. The pitch to Metakosh, in there for a strike. One out, nobody on here in the top of inning number two. Metakosh digs back in against Danny Vecchio. A pitch by Vecchio, that one misses outside. Three and one the count to Marin Metakosh. The 3-1 by Vecchio, swing and a miss. Count fills up, three balls, two strikes. Nobody on, one away here in the top of the second inning. As Metacosh swing and a miss, she'll strike out against Danny Vecchio. So a rare out recorded against Marin Metacosh's Danny Vecchio, two up, two down, and now will face Ashley Jewell, the senior shortstop. An RBI single as well in her first A.B. Two outs, nobody on. As Jewell sends this one in the air, left side, foul territory ranging over. Peterson makes the grab. Yeah. 
So she was out of the field of play, they're gonna say for Peterson, even though she did make the catch out of the field of play. So just a long foul ball and an athletic play by Amy Peterson. As Vecchio now against Joel, pitch home, rise up high, misses. Two outs, nobody on. Six nothing, Bell Vernon leads. As striking out is Joel. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left the board as Vecchio strikes out the side, and we come back. The Ringled Rams will come to bat right here on MVI Live this afternoon. Happily Brewed Coffee Shop located 3496 and a half Pittsburgh Road in Periopolis serving up specialty coffees, pastries, and more. Open Tuesday through Friday from 6 to 11 a.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 7 to 11 a.m. We're available to book clubs, group meetings, birthday parties, and more after hours. So for more information in our seasonal flavors, check us out on Facebook or give us a call at 724-497-3322. And we can't wait to see you at Happily Brewed. Inning and a half in the books here on MVI Live. Your score, the Bell Vernon Leopards six, the Ringgold Rams nothing trying to break on to the score column here in inning number two as it's going to be Nolf, or excuse me, Robertson, Vecchio, and Bianchi do up this inning. First pitch to Robertson, swing and a miss, strike one. Pitch by Ross, in there for a strike as Ross working ahead now. Ross, the pitch home, that one sails up high as Robertson trying to get on the lead off here in the inning number two. One ball, two strikes, nobody on, nobody out. Bottom of inning number two, six nothing, Bell Vernon leads Ringgold. Swing and a miss, Robertson is retired. Second strike out here. Now it's Olivia Vecchio, her first plate appearance of the afternoon. Pitch to Vecchio, misses. One ball, no strikes, two outs, nobody on. Oh, Vernon on top of Ringgold. As that one fouled off the backstop. Six nothing, Bell Vernon leads. The pitch here to Olivia Vecchio from Ross. That one sails up high. Pitch by Ross. Vecchio lines it back up to second. Kolowitz on the first, and that one is in time as one, two, three. Go the Ringgold Rams. No runs, or, oh, it's out number two. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see if Ross can do one, two, three here as the four, three put out is out number two. I think that's what happens when you're trying to 
announce a game, fix a camera, and do all that by yourself. So I'm going to blame it on that here this afternoon. As that one in there, strike one to Ali Bianchi, the senior right fielder. First time Bianchi's come to the plate here this afternoon. 6-0, Bell Vernon leads, bottom of the second. Pitch by Ross, sent in the air, out the center. Metacosh ranging back, and Metacosh puts the squeeze on it. Four out, number three, F8. Ends things so. Ross does indeed go one, two, three here in the second, and after two full, your score. The Leopards, six. The Rams, nothing right here on MVI Live. Hey, Jim Shorky here. Just a reminder, if you haven't signed up for the Goal Achiever Challenge yet, please do right now. Don't procrastinate. Jump right on this. Just do it. Get it done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So make sure you sign up for the Goal Achiever Challenge and check out Jim Shorky's Pragmatist Podcast. To check out that podcast and for more information, visit resultsfromthinking.com. Back here, as now it's Kolowitz due up for Bell Vernon. Top of the third, 6-0 Leopards lead. As first one misses to Olivia Kolowitz. Danny Vecchio came in after a third of an inning of Cassie Kunkel giving up six runs as that one misses to Kolowitz as well. Pitch by Vecchio, popped up, out of play. Pitch by Vecchio, swing and a miss. Now two balls, two strikes, nobody on, nobody out. Pitch by Vecchio, swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Danny Vecchio. That's four in a row, five in the game for Danny Vecchio. Now it's Ava Zubovic, singled in a pair back in inning number one. Danny Vecchio has had the answer for Bell Vernon since coming in as that one's fouled off the backstop. As that's in there now, 0-2. Danny Vecchio pounding the strike zone here this afternoon. Pitch to Zubovic. That one misses. One ball, two strikes. Nobody on. One away here in the top of the fourth inning. As striking out there will be Zubovic. So make it five in a row for Danny Vecchio. Six in the contest. And Bell Vernon has struggled against the sophomore. The 0-1 by Vecchio. Swing and a miss, 0-2 now on Mia Zubovic. As Vecchio looking for her sixth straight. As it looks like the Leopards might be in their own heads here. Another two strike offering as this one's grounded up the middle and that's gonna be a tough play as firing on the first was Olivia Vecchio and that one is not in time. As an infield single by Mia Zubovic down the line breaks the streak of five straight strikeouts. 
Uh, Sokol. Going to have a word with her head coach before the A-B. First A-B for Gracie Sokol was a strikeout against Olivia Vecchio. And I'm hoping, for those of you bearing with me through this, that for the start of next inning, the camera should be working again. Swing and a miss. Snap throw back to first. And for those of you also wondering, I can't very much see down the first baseline here this afternoon, so that's okay. The pitch by Vecchio, that's one skied up over the backstop out of play. No balls, two strikes, nobody on, or one on, two away here in inning number three. Six nothing, Bell Vernon leads. Gracie Sokol sends it in the air, left side. Vecchio ranges back over the glove, and there goes Zubovic to third. She'll hold there as on the second is Sokol taking advantage of the Rams napping. And now it's Lauren Van Divner with two on, two out. Already doubled home a pair with two outs against Vecchio once today. Second and third, two outs. Mel Vernon looking to increase their lead to at least eight with Van Divner at the plate. Vecchio comes home, that one misses. As the start of the inning, Robertson and Vecchio flip places on the infield. Olivia out to short, Haley to second as that one low. Kept there by Carly Russell. Russell's been very good as the catcher this year for the Ringgold Rams. Pitch on by Vecchio, set in the air, up out of play. Second and third, two outs, six nothing, Bell Vernon leads. The pitch by Vecchio to Van Divner, this one's lined out to left. Zubovic will score, here comes Sokol, it's another two out double for Lauren Van Divner, the freshman, tattooing the ball here this afternoon. And it's eight, nothing, Bell Vernon, as Mia Zubovic and Gracie Sokol both come across to score on seven and eight. As a courtesy runner here for the Bell Vernon Leopards. As it will be Tara Calloway running out at second base. As now it's Lexi Daniels. Daniels 0 for 1, a walk, a run scored, and a fly out. That all came back in inning number one, both ABs for the junior Daniels. Pitch by Vecchio in there for a strike. Runner at second, two outs, two in, 8 nothing. Bell Vernon leads. The pitch home, Daniels foul tip into the glove for strike two. As Danny Vecchio trying to get the final out of this inning. First two batters went down via the strikeout. Zubovic was on a two-strike count before singling on the infield hit. And that opened the floodgates a little. Increasing the lead from six to eight for the Belvern and Leopards. As again, 10 days off and the Leopards have still found ways to produce runs eight so far here. And we are just in the third. As this one skied up, and that one's going to get out of play off the bat of Daniels down the third base line. Runner at second in the form of Callaway, a courtesy runner. Two outs, two in, eight nothing Leopards lead. The pitch home, fouled off again by Daniels. All over, all over, 
The pitch by Vecchio. Popped up off the backstop once more. As Lexi Daniels staying around after falling behind early in the count. Wasting a lot of Danny Vecchio's pitches. The pitch by Vecchio. Outer third, strike three looking. So Vecchio will strike out three in the inning, but not before Belvernon strikes for two more runs on three consecutive hits. No errors and one left aboard. And after now three and a half here on MVI Live, your score, Belvernon, up eight to nothing over the Ringgold Rams as we'll take a break and hopefully have this thing figured out technology-wise when we come back. Are you looking for stress-free car shopping at its finest? Well, then Davies Ford of Charleroi is the place for you. Located 728 McKean Avenue, Davies Ford has something for everybody with a wide selection of models from Ford. So come let us get you in that new car today at Davies Ford of Charleroi. To get the Ford you want only with the greatest of ease. Pull on down to Davies. To the bottom of inning number three. Eight nothing, Bell Vernon leads. As is gonna be the nine hole hitter, Devin Elk followed by Carly Russell and Peyton LaFlash. As the pitch by Ross in there, strike one. Pitch by Ross. Check swing, swing through. As Talia Ross trying to get out Devin Elk to start inning number three. Eight nothing, Bell Vernon leads. Ross up on the rubber. Rocks and fires home, swing and a miss as Talia Ross will strike out Elk. Second punch out, make it third of the afternoon for Ross as we'll turn things over to the top of the order with Carly Russell, who is one of those punch out victims here. Bunch shown and tried to pull back was Russell unsuccessfully. So strike one on Carly Russell. As that one's chopped a third across the diamond and in time as Zubovic to Sokol for out number two. And now it's Peyton LaFlash. Life is full of surprises. Two outs, nobody on. 1-0 count to Peyton LaFlash. Flash walked and was stranded at third back in inning number one. As Ross rocks and fires home, swing and a miss. As LaFlash down in the count. Go. 
And the pitch by Ross, that one fouled off. One ball, two strikes, nobody on, two away. As Talia Rosh trying to get out number three and put the bats back to work. That one misses up high on Peyton LaFlash. Two balls, two strikes, nobody on, two away. Melvern up 8-0 here in the home half of inning number three on the Ringgold Rams. As LaFlash sends that in the air and putting the squeeze on it out, it's short. Is Joel, one, two, three, go the Rams once more. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left the board. And after, three full, Bell Vernon eight. The Rams nothing. Fabin sends the first pitch foul down the right field line. As second one in the air, and that one drops in fair, kicked away and out of play by Peterson and Fabin into second with a double. Now it's going to be Marin Metakosh for Bell Vernon. One on, nobody out. As Metakosh sends it the other way, and that one finds the glove of Peterson as Metakosh retired for the second time this afternoon. So now it's Ashley Joel. Joel is one for two, a double, an RBI strikeout. The pitch to Joel, this one in the air, left side, ranging over, Peterson off the glove. Fabian will take off for third season safely. Joel stands in at second. And now runners at second and third with just one out for Olivia Kolowitz. First pitch misses, ball one to Kolowitz. Pitch home, in there for a strike. As Kolowitz swing and a miss, she'll strike out. Uh, second time Kolowitz has been punched out in this one. That is now eight strikeouts for Danny Vecchio.
in inning number four, seeing if they can finally get on the board against this Bell Vernon defense. As again, apologize about the camera, just not cooperating with me here today as we'll take a break and we come back. We'll have the home half of inning number four right here on MVI Live. Hey, Jim Shorky here. Just a reminder, if you haven't signed up for the Goal Achiever Challenge yet, please do right now. Don't procrastinate, jump right on this. Just do it, get it done. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So make sure you sign up for the Goal Achiever Challenge and check out Jim Shorty's Pragmatist Podcast. To check out that podcast and for more information, visit resultsfromthinking.com. Back here from Ringgold, your score into the bottom of the fourth we go. Bell Vernon 8, Ringgold nothing as looking for another clean inning is Talia Roth. Ross has retired her last eight batters faced. As Peterson, Danny Vecchio, and Emma Nolf do up this inning. First pitch misses. Ball one to Peterson. Ross on the circle. Rocks and fires home. That one misses as well. Ross back on the rubber. Gets the sign. Rocks and fires home to Van Divner. This one popped up and out of play. Nobody on, nobody out. Eight nothing, Bell Vernon leads as we'll have a meeting at the circle between the catcher Van Divner and the pitcher Ross. Two and one, the count to the right-handed hitting Peterson. Pitch home by Ross. Rise and a swing and a miss to even things up. Two balls, two strikes, nobody on, and nobody out here in inning number four. Ross rocks and fires home. This one fouled off. Her left shin is the count stays even to Amy Peterson. Pitch by Ross inside and Peterson wears it. So a leadoff hit by pitch. We'll bring Danny Vecchio on with nobody out runner at first. Ross on the rubber. The pitch home by the left-hander, swing and a miss. And Dibner thought about firing back down, but will not. Pitch by Ross, swing and a miss as Vecchio falls behind here in the count. Let's go, let's go. 
Ross looking for a big strikeout here with Danny Vecchio. Eight nothing, the Leopards lead. Pitch home as that one misses. As Vecchio was able to hold off. Pitch home. Swing and a miss is Ross. Will strike out Vecchio for out number one here in the fourth. Bell Vernon, eight. Ringled nothing as now coming up to the plate will be Emma Nolf. Pitch home, fouled off. Runner at first, one out, Emma Nolf at the plate. Pitch by Ross, swing and a miss. Pitch home, this one line the other way, that gets out. And that one drops in front of Fabian. It's gonna be a one out single for Emma Nolf as Ringgold possibly in business here in inning number four. Runners at First and second, one out. Bunch shown, laid down, and that one goes foul. Left of the third base line. Two on, one out. Haley Robertson. Trying to bring home the Rams' first runs of the game. Pitched home, bunted foul. There's strike two. Owen to the count to Robertson. Runners at second and third. One out, eight nothing lead here for Bell Vernon. Pitch home, swing and a miss. As another strikeout from Talia Ross. Second of the inning. Two outs, two on, eight nothing. The Leopards lead. Pitch home. That one lined back up the middle, and that one dies in the center field grass. Here comes Peterson. She will score. It's a two-out RBI single by Olivia Vecchio, and it's now 8-1. Bell Vernon still in command here in inning number four. As Peterson, who was hit by a pitch to start the inning, comes around to score the first Rams run. See if Ross can battle back here and get out number three as at the plate is Allie Bianchi. Pitch home. That one misses by Ross. Pitch 
Pitch by Ross. And that one gets inside and hits Bianchi. So the base is now full of Rams here in inning number four. Two outs, and it's Devin Elk who struck out in her first trip to the place. Two hit batters this inning, an RBI single by Olivia Vecchio. As we will see a pinch hitter. So Elk will not come to the plate. Pitch home, a little flare back to the hill and ranging over is Ross, so a P1 ends the inning. One run, two hits, no errors, and the base is left loaded and after four full, your score ringled, trailing Belvern and eight to one as the Rams get on the board here on MVI Live as Belvernon looks to bring the bats back to work this time by. Life is full of surprises. Some good, some not so good. It's why your State Farm agent is there with good neighbor service and surprisingly great rates for everyone. Yep, that's right, at State Farm you get great service and great rates with every policy. So you can be prepared for all life's surprises. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. When you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Brian Warnick in Periopolis today at 412-668-0111. Back here on MVI Live, Bell Vernon and Ringgold, 8-1 your score. The Bell Vernon Leopards leading. A three spot here for Bell Vernon in the top of the fifth. And a clean bottom of the fifth will end this one early if the Leopards can do just that. As due up this inning is Mia Zubovic, Gracie Sokol, and Lauren Van Divner. A strike one by Vecchio. Some changes for the Rams as Harding comes in to play first base. Noble stays in his first pitch. Swing Zubovic finds the gap out in left center. And Mia Zubovic or make that will be in with a leadoff single. Mia Zubovic now three for three. That will bring, bring Gracie Sokol to the plate. As first pitch, pop back up on the infield. Olivia Vecchio ranges in and makes the grab for out number one. On the infield pop-up, so staying put at first will be Mia Zubovic. So now it's Lauren Van Divner. She's had the best bat in the Bell Vernon lineup here this afternoon. Two for two, four RBI, two doubles. First pitch ball to Van Divner. The 1 0 by Vecchio. Van Divner swings through. Pitch home by Vecchio to Van Divner. That one rises high. Two balls, one strike. Mia Zubovic over at first. One out. 8 1 lead for Bell Vernon. as Mia Zubovic will come out and be replaced by a runner is coming in to run will be Layla Farinx, the freshman. As that one skied up and Danny Vecchio puts the squeeze on us for the first time today. They retire Lauren Van Divner on the P1. Now it's Alexa Daniels. Pitch 
Pitch home. Misses ball one to Daniels. Runner at first, that is Fairinx. Running for Zubovic, the DP. Pitch home, Daniels fouls it off the backstop. 8-1 lead here for Belvernon over Ringgold. As outer third, that one finds for a strike on Daniels. As that one chopped, and that one's going to be trouble as Vecchio will just toss it away over at short, and that's going to allow the runner Pharynx to head to third. So it's an infield single for Daniels, and advancing on the air is Pharynx to third. So runners at the corners with two down for Fabin. Runners at the corners, two outs. It's Abby Fabin at the plate. First pitch misses, ball one. As walking down the second will be Alexa Daniels. As Ringgold, a little bit of a defensive indifference. Should have been an easy out the way. Daniels was kind of leisurely walking down the line. Pitch home, misses as well to Fabin. And Ringel does not want to load him up for who's on deck, Marin Metakos. She's been the best hitter all season for Bell Vernon. Just one for three today though, but only play with fire so long before you get burned if you're Danny Vecchio and the Ringel Rams. See if Fabian can get them on and load them up for Metakosh here in inning number five. As that one misses, and it will be loaded. Two outs, bases loaded, and it's Marin Metakosh coming to the plate for Bell Vernon. Bases loaded, two outs, Vecchio versus Metakosh. First pitch inside to Marin Metakosh. One ball, no strikes, two outs. 8-1 lead here for Bell Vernon over Ringgold. The pitch to Metakosh, and Metakosh fouls that one up out of play. Count evens, one ball and one strike to the left-handed hitting junior center fielder. Again, Metakosh today just 1-4-3. RBI single, a strikeout, and now another one that gets out in the grass, and that's going to play the pair. It's going to be a two-out, two-run single for Marin Metakosh. And the Belvernon Leopards hit 10. It's 10-1 ten to one here in inning number five. RBI number two and three on the afternoon for Metakosh brings home Fairings from third as run number nine and Daniels from second as it's ball one to Ashley Joel. Joel, two doubles, an RBI, and a run scored today. Pitch to Joel, that one low as well. Ashley Joel digs back in against Danny Vecchio. That one low. On deck, Olivia Kolowicz, she is one for three, two strikeouts and a single. The single came against Cassie Kunkel, the starter, who went one-third of an inning, gave up six runs to the Leopards. As that's in there for a strike to Ashley Joel. As Joel hammers it down the line, and that one got... The Rams head, or excuse me, the Leopards head coach. Like 
as Ashley Joel, a line drive off the chest of her head coach, seems to be all right. As Joel making her way down the third baseline. So Ashley Joel back into the batter's box after lining one off her coach in foul territory. Down full, three balls, two strikes, two on, two in. 10-1, Bell Vernon leads. Here in inning number five. As Joel, this one out the center. LaFlash under it, puts the squeeze on it. And we will go to the bottom of inning number five. Bell Vernon plates two more up to 10 on three hits. And they're in the inning and two stranded. Bell Vernon has now stranded six batters through five innings of work. And after Four and a half here on MVI Live. Your score, Bell Vernon, 10, Ringgold, 1. Ross will go back to work as due up is going to be Carly Russell, Peyton LaFlash, and Amy Peterson here this inning. Ringgold looking to inch ever closer here against the Bell Vernon Leopards here in the bottom of inning number five. It's a nine run lead for Bell Vernon. As looks like Callaway will come into the game for the Leopards out at second. I think we are also going to see for Bell Vernon. I think that's the only change right now is going to be Callaway coming in at second for Kolowitz for the Bell Vernon Leopards. Everything else appears to have stayed the same. And that will be the case. So Kolowitz out. Callaway in. As it's again Russell, LaFlash, and Peterson. Against the lefty Talia Ross as Russell back over getting some advice from the Rams coaching staff. Pitch on by Ross, misses. 1-0 to Carly Russell. Ross up on the rubber, rocks and fires home. Swing and a miss, one and one. Dalia Ross on the rubber. Rocks and deals, the one, one home. Outer third, make it one and two to Carly Russell. The sophomore catcher, 0 for 2. She's been very good this year for Ringgold. Pitch home. As that one's fouled off the backstop, count stays where it's at on the sophomore backstop.
Pitch home. As again, staying alive there is Carly Russell. One ball, two strikes. Nobody on, nobody out. Pitch home. Russell pops it up, and that one just gets out of play. Nobody on, nobody out. 10-1 lead here in the bottom of inning number five for Bell Vernon over Ringled. Pitch home. This one's chopped left side, and that one gets under the glove of Zubovic. Throw on the first by the shortstop, Jewel, not in time, as it's going to be an E5 bringing the first batter of the inning to first. So that would bring Peyton LaFlash up now. The senior center fielder, 0 for 1 with a walk today, a stolen base, stranded a third back in the first. As LaFlash trying to keep this inning going against the left-hander, Talia Ross. Ross fires home. This one popped up, and that's going to get out of play for strike one. Pitch home, misses ball as that one raises up high. As Peyton LaFlash with one on and nobody out. 10-1 lead for Bell Vernon, Ross. Rocks and deals home, rise, swing and a miss by LaFlash for strike two. One and two now to the senior center fielder, Peyton LaFlash. Pitch home. This one's lined out towards center field. Metacosh over. Gets past her all the way to the wall. Russell rounds third. She'll come in to score. It's an RBI double by Peyton LaFlash, and it's 10-2 here in the fifth as Peyton LaFlash on base now for the second time today, bringing home Carly Russell all the way from first as the Rams get their second run of the afternoon. Now it's Amy Peterson with a runner at second and still nobody out. That one skitters and misses low, ball one. Ross. Gets the sign, one on, nobody out, one in. Pitch home, swing and a miss. As the throwback got over the head of Ross, but backing up was the second baseman, Callaway. Runner at second, nobody out. Ringo down by eight. Pitch home by Ross. That one just misses low. As Ross put that right where she wanted, but just did not get the call. Pitch home. That one misses as well. As Amy Peterson working herself back into the count. Three balls, one strike. Nobody out, one in, runner at second is Peyton LaFlash. She drove home Carly Russell. The pitch to Peterson. Swing and a miss, count fills up, three balls, two strikes. Bottom of inning number five, 10-2 lead for Bell Vernon. P. 
Peterson awaiting the offering from Ross. The payoff pitch by the left-hander. Swing and a miss. There's the strikeout for Talia Ross in out number one here in the fifth. Sixth strikeout of the game for Talia Ross, and that brings up Danny Vecchio. Looking for a one-out single to cut the lead down to seven. As Vecchio goes up chasing for strike one. One out, one on, one in. 10-2 lead. As Ringold trying to fight back here against Bell Vernon. Bell Vernon first game in 10 days as this one's fouled off by Vecchio. Now 0-2 the count. Well, flash at second. Drove home Carly Russell on the RBI double. As the first two batters of the inning reach, then the strikeout by Ross, looking for another Avecchio here. And that one just misses as Talia Ross was looking for back-to-back -back Ks. The one, two to Danny Vecchio. Outer third, strike three looking as there is back-to-back -back strikeouts for Ross. She is up to seven in the game. And now with two outs and a runner at second, it's gonna take a two out knock by Emma Nolf who is one for two today to try to bring home Peyton LaFlash from second. Emma Nolf, the third baseman, trying to pick up her teammates after back-to-back -back strikeouts. As that one low, ball one. Peyton LaFlash out at second. LaFlash, the RBI double to put Ringgold within eight. Nolf trying to make it down to a seven-run deficit. Swing and a miss, one and one. Looking ahead here for both teams. For Ringle, their next game will take place on Monday when they take on Uniontown. Bell Vernon will host the Warriors from Elizabeth Ford, and that should be a great matchup as this one's fouled off by Emma Nolf. Obviously, we'll have a full week of games for you on MVI Live, including Bell Vernon Ringgold Friday night from the D. Virgilio Complex. So we'll be there for that one on Bell Vernon Senior Night. As this one sent the other way to first and it's foul as Sokol was looking for the three unassisted put out to end the inning. But Monday at Sarah Catholic Softball. Wednesday, Sarah Catholic Baseball versus Greensburg Central Catholic. Thursday, Frazier Schollaroy Softball. Friday, as I mentioned, Belvern and Ringgold. And Tuesday, I believe, Elizabeth forward at Ringgold Baseball. As the other way goes, Nolf, and in comes LaFlash from second. It's a two-out RBI single for Emma Nolf. And it's now a 10-3 game. As the unearned run comes in to score against... Talia Ross. Now it is going to be Harding. Excuse me, make that Ringgold Rams. First pitch to Busey, misses. Morgan Busey awaiting the pitch from Ross as that one's in there for strike. Mm -hmm. 
Morgan Busey digs in against Talia Ross. One on, two out, two in. Here this inning, 10-3 your score in favor of Bell Vernon. Bottom of inning number five. Pitch home. That one misses. Throw down to second and sliding in safely is Emma Nolf with the stolen base. Two and one, the count to Morgan Busey. On deck, Olivia Vecchio. Another runner in scoring position for the Rams. As that one way up in the count. Three balls, one strike, two outs. Runner at second is Emma Nolf. Nolf, two singles today in RBI. Talia Ross trying to get out of this inning. As there's ball four as Morgan Busey draws the free pass, putting runners at first and second with two down for Olivia Vecchio. The senior shortstop digs in. As head coach Tom Rodriguez will take the walk to the circle to have a word with Talia Ross, bringing everybody in the infield in. Big conclave at the center circle for the Bell Vernon Leopards. As this inning started with an error allowing Carly Russell to reach, came around the score on the Peyton LaFlash RBI double. Back-to-back -back strikeouts of Peterson and Danny Vecchio brought up Emma Nolf. Two out off that made it a 10-3 game. Then the walk by Morgan Bucci, or Busey excuse me, has Olivia Vecchio at the plate trying to cut ever further into this Bell Vernon lead. Bell Vernon was up 8-0. 8-1, 10-1, and now it is a 10-3 game with two on and two out here for Ringgold. Pitch to Olivia Vecchio. Swing and a miss for strike one. Runners at first and second with two outs. That one bounces to the plate by Ross as Vecchio pulls even with the left-hander. Talia Ross on the rubber has the sign. Rocks and fires home. That one misses, as Vecchio now up in the count. Nolf at second, Busey at first, Olivia Vecchio at the plate against Talia Ross, pitch home. That one rises up, Vecchio goes chasing to foul it off and even things up. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on, two in. And it's a 10-3 Leopard lead here in the bottom of the fifth. Pitch by Ross, Vecchio, a little flare over the head of Mia, or Ava Zubovic. Rounding third is Nolf, she will score Busey to third, Vecchio to second, it's a two out RBI single for Olivia Vecchio, and now it is a 10-4 game. As Busey goes to third, and Vecchio works her way up to second. And now it's gonna be Hallie Bianchi. Bianchi 0 for one, reached on a hit by pitch this Pitch by Ross. Misses for ball one to Abby B Ali Bianchi. Two on, two outs. Three run inning for Ringgold. 
Went from 10-1 now to 10-4 here in inning number five. And Bell Vernon started this inning with an E5, so everything coming across, not earned on the left-hander, Talia Ross, as that one low bounces as Bianchi trying to get Harding to the plate. Two all, two strike, four game. Bell Vernon still in command here in the bottom of the fifth. The lefty Ross delivers, swing and a miss as Ross Strikes out Bianchi to finally end the inning. So three punch outs in the inning for Talia Ross, but three Rams come across the score. They do it on just three hits and error in the inning and Ringgold Strands two. And after five full here on MVI Live, your score, Belvernon 10, Ringgold four, right here on MVI Live. Hello, my name is Paul Schmidt, owner of Classic Deck Impressions located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are a full-scale deck building company specializing in new deck construction and remodeling. We utilize only the highest quality products and follow the most strict building procedures. Call us today at 412-496-5189 for your free in-home consultation and computer-generated drawings. Also visit us at ClassicDeckImpressions.com. Back here on MVI Live, some score discrepancy. I think three, somebody had 10-5, but. Bell Vernon, six in the first, two in the third, that's eight. Two in the fifth, that's 10, but Ringgold, one in the fourth, three last inning, that's four, so 10-4 your score here. As Bell Vernon looking to get the bats back to work, leading things off will be Tara Calloway. Olivia Vecchio coming in after a third of an inning by Cassie Kunkel where Ringgold gave up six runs. As first pitch swinging, Callaway out to left and it's a leadoff single. And Bell Vernon in business to start the sixth. As Callaway takes second, now looks at third and she'll stop there. Then for Bell Vernon leads, trying to hang on here. Ringle trying to mount the comeback. Lead off single by Callaway, turning it into two. Well, the cause is stepping in. Now will be Ava Zubovic. First, it's swinging the other way. That drops down. Being the score sliding safely. It's an RBI single by the sophomore. As Ava Zubovic gets the Leopards right back on the board with back-to-back -back hits. It's now an 11-4 Leopard lead. Third RBI of the game for Ava Zubovic, and that brings up now Mia Zubovic, who is three for three. Three singles, scored a pair of runs. Ferenx, the courtesy runner for her, scored one as well. That was back in inning number five. The 11-4 Leopard lead here in the top of inning number six. Pitch by Vecchio, that one misses outside. To Mia Zubovic, the freshman DP. As in there to Zubovic. One ball, one strike. One in and one on. Pitch home, Zubovic lines it just foul. And splashed down into the puddle down the left field line. Looked like it might have caught the line, but just misses. As Mia Zubovic was flirting with her fourth hit of the afternoon. Now 
Now Mia Zubovic, another opportunity here at the dish. Ava stands at first, an RBI single scoring Callaway. The freshman's three for three today. Can't she make it a four for four afternoon? As that one misses high as taking it was Zubovic. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out, runner at first. It's an 11-4 lead for the Bell Vernon Leopards. As Zubovic goes chasing and strikes out, first time Ringold's been able to retire the freshman here in this one. Danny Vecchio since entering has now struck out nine. Now it's Gracie Sokol, one for three, a double and a run score. That came back in inning number three for Belvernon. As first pitch swinging, grounded up the middle. On the second goes Ava Zubovic, and it's a one-out single for Gracie Sokol, her second hit of the game. And that puts runners at first and second with just one away for Lauren Van Divner, who has a pair of two-out, two-run doubles to her ledger this afternoon. Pitch to Van Divner, that one low, ball one. That one just catches the top of the zone. One ball, one strike, runners at first and second, one away. 11-4 lead for the Bell Vernon Leopards over the Ringgold Rams. As that one misses, make it two and one now to Lauren Van Divner. Bell Vernon again, first game since they lost to Yawk last Wednesday in a thriller. Bell Vernon did not get probably the calls they should have in that game, an unfortunate loss, especially with one of the Yawk runs coming across to score on a play that wasn't out at home that... The uh, home plate umpire thought the runner slid in safely. The tag was applied. So a big break there. Bell Vernon couldn't make the comeback complete as Yawk was able to walk it off as a single up the middle for Van Divner, her third hit of the game. As she'll load them up for Alexa Daniels. Daniels one for three, a run, or two runs scored, reached on a walk as well. And last time we saw Daniels versus Yawk, she did take one deep. Off of Emma Augustine. We'll look to possibly do the same against Danny Vecchio. Abby Fabin on deck as first pitch swinging. Fouled off the fence in front of the Rams dugout for strike one. Aces loaded. Just one out here in inning number six. As that one's fouled off by Daniels. Now down, no balls, two strikes. Trying to keep the carousel in motion here for Bell Vernon in the sixth inning. Already one run across, trying to match that ringled three spot from the fifth, if not surpass it. Pitch by Vecchio. Daniels stays alive as she launches that one. Foul over the Rams' dugout. Zubovic at third, Sokol at second. Van Divner at first, Alexa Daniels at the dish. The pitch by Vecchio. And Daniels swing and a miss. Double digit K's for Danny Vecchio. Second punch out of the inning. Now it's up to Abby Fabin who is one for three, a double, and a walk so far in this one. Look to reach for the third time in this contest and bring Metakosh back to the plate. Metakosh is two for four if she gets there. She's driven in three. First pitch strike to Fabin, but again, first things first. Abby Fabin has to find a way to reach. See if she can pick up a couple of ribbies along the way. Nowhere to put Fabin. The pitch home by Danny Vecchio. Fabin now behind, no balls and two strikes as Danny Vecchio looking to work out of this bases loaded jam unscathed. See if Fabin tries to shorten things up here, take something the other way. And instead she'll send it out to center, coming in was the flash, it gets over her head! 
Zubovic in, there comes Sokol, and there's Van Divner. A bases clearing double, and on the throw, Fabin moves to third. Second two-bagger of the afternoon. This time it brings in three for Abby Fabin. As Zubovic scores 12, Sokol 13, and Van Divner 14, bringing Marin Metakosh up. First pitch strike to Metakosh. Marin two for four, three runs batted in, a pair of singles, a run scored, struck out and flew out in our other two ABs. This one grounded out, Vecchio across the diamond and that one is just in time. 6-3 retires Marin Metakosh and that will send us to the bottom of the sixth, Bell Vernon. They add four to their total. They do it on one, two, three, four, five hits. No errors. And one left aboard. And after five and a half here on MVI Live, Bell Vernon three outs away from victory if they can keep Ringgold off the board in the bottom of the six. Otherwise, we'll play one more here on this gorgeous Saturday afternoon. Everything's been great except the camera. Besides the camera, it's been a great day. Beautiful weather outside, some softball. Weather finally starting to cooperate, but with that, the camera has not. As we are going to see. I think some changes here, both sides, as it is going to be Harding leading off. Well, Vernon might be making a couple defensive changes as well. I think we are going to see Mia Zubova go out into the field. Callaway stays out there. Ross stays out. Checking numbers. There's Metakosh. Fabian. So the, the trio of outfielders are the same. I think it just might be a Zubovic for Zubovic swap at third base. And that's all it is. So Mia replaces Ava at third. And then that will be the lone leopard change. Big shout out to today's home plate umpire. Giving me all the changes when we get it as well. So that, that makes my life a lot easier. Especially when we're having have camera issues on a day like today. But first time at Ringgold, we weren't originally scheduled to come here. So glad to just be out doing a game. And right now, two Valley teams. Ringo trying to keep things alive, Bell Vernon. Has had their shot taken at them by the Rams, and you have to wonder, though, what is the difference right now if Danny Vecchio starts this game? His leading off will be Harding. The lefty, first baseman, seeing her first appearance, and it will come against the southpaw, Talia Ross. Again, the lone substitution. We see Mia Zubovic head to the field. Ava Zubovic come out. Bell Vernon's looking for a quick 1-2-3 inning. And then this one here. First pitch misses, ball one. Harding digs back in, nobody on, nobody out, bottom of the sixth. Bell Vernon up 14 to four. That's a swing and a miss as Harding pulls even with Talia Ross, one ball and one strike. Harding digs back in, Ross gets the sign. The 1-1 one, one home. That one misses. As Harding trying to find a way to extend this game. Pitch by Ross, catches the outer third and that's gonna fill things up on Harding or excuse me, even things up on Harding. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody on and nobody out. Ross on the rubber. Rocks and fires home. Swing and a miss. And Talia Ross starts the bottom of the six with a punch out of Harding. Harding. 
Ninth K of the afternoon for Talia Ross. As now it's going to be Carly Russell, the catcher. 0 for 3, reached on an error, scored the second Rams run. Takes low ball one as that one bounces to Talia Ross. Also want to thank Carly Ross personally as carrying in my bin, chair, table, everything all together in one trip because it's a bit of a hike and not multiple trips happening here to get from the parking facility to the softball field. Offered to help, so do appreciate that. As Russell fouls that one up out of play. Assistant coach said she was just, just for show, wasn't actually probably going to do it. But hey, appreciate the gesture nonetheless. One ball and one strike to the sophomore catcher, Carly Russell. Swing and a miss as Ross pulled the strings on Russell. Pitch by Ross, and fighting that one off and sending it foul down the third baseline was Russell. As Ross looking for out number two against Carly Russell, putting Bell Vernon just one out away from victory if she can do that. 14-4, your score. Bell Vernon on top, Carly Russell the catcher. Pitch home. Swing and a miss. Double digits. For Talia Ross. Back-to-back -back strikeouts and now one out away from a Bell Vernon victory. It's been 10 days in the making for Bell Vernon. Finally back in action, trying to close this one out up by 10, trying to do it in six innings. Pitch. Bounces, ball one. As that one raises up high and misses. Peyton LaFlash, one for two, a double, run scored, and a walk to the ledger of the center fielder. As that one's fouled up off the backstop for a strike to Peyton LaFlash. Two balls, one strike, two outs, nobody on. Bell Vernon, one out away. As that one's fouled off, now one strike away from picking up win number four on the season, win number three in the section if they can do so. Pitch home by Ross inside, count full, three balls, two strikes, two outs, nobody on. 14-4 lead, excuse me, for Bell Vernon here in the bottom of the sixth inning. One strike away from finishing this one in six if Talia Ross can extinguish the senior center fielder, Peyton LaFlash. The pitch home by Ross. Off the glove of Zubovic, Joel picks it up, throws the first, not in time. And it's going to be an infield two-out single by LaFlash, keeping things alive. First pitch, Peterson, strike one. One on, two outs. 14-4, Leopard lead. Yeah, 
as that one's fouled off. Two strikes on Amy Peterson, the senior. Well, flash reached on the two-out infield single is just out of the reach of the outstretched arm of Mia Zubovic. Joel tried to fire it across, not in time. Let's make sure you stay tuned after this one for the State Farm Player of the Game, brought to you by your local State Farm agent, Brian Warnick, right here on MVI Live. Pitch home by Ross, swing and a miss as Talia Ross ends it with a K as she'll strike out three in the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left the board in Bell Vernon. Victorious in the first time in 10 days. They'll take it 14-4 over the Ringwood Rams. Things got dicey down to a 10-4 game, but Bell Vernon hangs on. Six of the Leopard runs came back in inning number one against Cassie Kunkel as it was a walk, a bunt, then an RBI single by Metakosh. An RBI double by Ashley Joel. Kulowitz would single. Two runs would come home on the Ava Zubovic base hit. And then Mia Zubovic would single once more before a Lauren Van Divner two-run double with two outs. Would make it 6 nothing. Bell Vernon as all six runs go against Cassie Kunkel in that first inning. Vecchio would give up the rest in replacement Talia Ross gave up four. Three of them were unearned. That all runs in the fifth inning came unearned after the leadoff error. So Bell Vernon, they improved to four and three on the season. Three and two inside the section. They'll be back in action. Huge game against Elizabeth Forward Monday. At home as Olivia Grimm, Brooke Marklin, and Gracie Smith come to town. So that will definitely be an interesting one to see how that goes for the Belvern and Leopards as they are victorious here this afternoon. Final score, 14-4. They do it in six over the Ringgold Rams as your player of the game. Brought to you by your local State Farm agent, Brian Warnick, is the freshman catcher, Lauren Van Divner. Three for four, four runs batted in, scored a run as well as Van Divner picks up the player of the game as Belvernon picks up the win. On behalf of everyone here at MVI Live, I'm Alex Lyons saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you Monday. And hopefully less technical issues, but appreciate you dealing with me throughout the course of this one right here on MVI Live.